Hey everybody, I wanna welcome you back to the channel, State of Charge, where we talk about three things. We talk about solar power, talk about web technology, and we talk about live stories. So if this is something that you like and would like to be a part of, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Send in your comments, I respond to every comment as much as possible. Well, in today's video, it's a continuation of the last video that we had on light cell using the load balancer. And one of the big challenges with load balancers is you have multiple instances. But what if those instances need to be updated? For example, you're doing WordPress, and WordPress issues an update, uh, or the plugins that you're using are issuing an update. Well, you have three, four, five, however many instances that you have running, and all of those need to be running and updated accordingly. So because they're independent instances, they all independently need to be updated. So how do you do this? Well, there's a couple schools of thought on this, and I'm gonna go over the one that I prefer, and that is just to simply update a main instance, create a snapshot, kill the other instances, bring up some other instances that are a part of that core update that you just did. So we're gonna go over that today, let me show you how to do that. So as you can see here, we're logged into the Mandalorian website. And if I come over here to the WordPress dashboard, you're able to see that we have some major updates. One is the update to 5.5 on WordPress. And then we have a couple plugins that we need to update. And then we probably have a couple themes that we need to update and we do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do those updates. But before we do that, we need to go back to the light cell uh, here, and I am going to shut down and stop man two. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I am looking at only this man one instance. I'm going to do the updates there. So if we come back over here and we reload this and I'm able to get to the dashboard, we know that we're doing the updates on this instance because this one here has been stopping or will be stopped. So let's go ahead and wait for that to stop. Okay, as you can see, this instance is completely stopped. We come back over here and we reload this, we can see that we're uh, running from the manager here, and so we know that the WordPress dashboard is running from that particular instance. Similarly, if we go to the website, we can see the website and we can traverse these uh, slideshow here. Again, you're going to want to reference the other video on setting this up. This is uh, the third in a series here. And so you can see that we are running off of this instance. So what I'm going to do now is let's just go back over here to the dashboard and let's do an update to WordPress 5.5. And let's let that run for a second. Okay, it's gonna be an incremental upgrade here, so let's go ahead and do the final update to get us up to 5.5. Okay, as you can see here, we are upgraded now to WordPress 5.5. I'm gonna go over here to these plugins. Let's go ahead and just update these plugins now. And we can see that these are updating just fine. And there, I'm not gonna worry about the themes right now because as soon as this is over, I'm gonna go ahead and blast this and it's not gonna be available anymore. So this is just for the sake of the conversation so you can see how this is working. So as again, as we come back over here and we visit the website, you can see that it is working and is up and running but we've updated the plugins. The only updates that are left, let's just go ahead and update 2017 here. Let's just do that for now. Okay, so everything is updated. The only thing that's not updated is the Avada theme, and I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I am gonna go ahead and trash this as soon as the tutorial is over. I'm in the light cell dashboard here, and let's go in and let's manage this. And let's just quickly do a snapshot right now. Let's create a quick snapshot. This is gonna take a minute or two, so we'll come back to this video in just a second once that snapshot has been completed. Okay, you can see here that that snapshot has been created, and so we now have an exact duplicate of the instance that we just updated. Okay, so let's go back to the home here on the light cell dashboard. 
And this one that is stopped, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete it because that one has not been updated. It was stopped while we were doing the update to ensure that we're doing the update to this man one down here. So let's go ahead and delete that. As you can see, we now only have this one instance up and running. So I'm gonna come back to my snapshots over here and this, let's go ahead and create a brand new instance. Let's just call it man two again. And we're gonna go ahead and create that instance. So this will take a minute. Let's go ahead and pause the video while this is beginning to create. All right, you can see that this instance has been created, but this has yet to be assigned to the load balancer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into networking and we are gonna go to load balancer. And I'm going to attach another instance, which is going to be that man two. Let's go ahead and attach that to the instance. We'll let that route to itself. It will take a minute for this instance to attach to the load balancer. So we'll give that a moment. All right, as you can see, the load balancer now has two attached instances. We have man two and man one. They're both passing the health checks. We can come over here to the metrics and we should be able to see, yes, we were running two. We took it down to one while we did the update to this one, and now we're back up to two healthy instances running. So when we come back over here to the WordPress theme and we reload this, we don't necessarily know which instance we're seeing this dashboard displaying from. Chances are it was the one that you were on before just because of um, caching and, and those kinds of things. So what we want to do is we want to go back over here to your home screen on your light cell dashboard and we want to shut down or stop the original one that we updated. We do this to ensure that both instances or however many instances you are running have gotten that update by restoring from the snapshot. So we're going to give this a moment to stop and then we're going to go back to the dashboard and we should be able to see instance man two running with the same updates. And if all looks well, then both instances are up and running and are all updated and you are good to go. So let's give this a moment and let's see if we can get to the dashboard. As you can see, man one has been stopped. So in theory, we should be able to go to man two. The traffic will be routing to man two from the load balancer and we should see all of the same updates because we spun this up as an exact duplicate from man one. So let's go to the dashboard here. You can see that the only update is Avada, which is the case. If we come over here to home and we look at at a glance, yes, WordPress 5.5 is running. And then if we look at all of our plugins, they are all up to date as well. So the last thing to do now that we have confirmed that your second instance is an exact mirror of the first instance that is now stopped, we want to start that one back up. And this will take a moment for that instance to start up. So we'll give that a moment. But what will happen now is once both of these instances are up and running, the load balancer will distribute the traffic evenly and you are assured that instance one and instance two are both synchronized and updated accordingly um, and are in sync with each other. Now, you don't have to do this with the database because with a load balancer, if you'll notice in our previous videos, uh, is running off an external database server and all of our assets, all of our images, all of our JPEGs and PDFs and GIFs and you know anything that we've loaded into the system, those are all being stored on Amazon S3. So we don't need to synchronize that as well because all of our instances are calling out to those external services. The only thing we need to worry about are the internal um, files of that server for WordPress specifically, okay? So we've got both of these now up and running. If we come over here and we refresh, we should see everything is good to go and we can visit the website and now we know that the website is being balanced between both instances that are both updated and up to date and synchronized. So that is how I do it. 
I'm sure there are other ways to do it. Uh, if you would, comment below and let us know how you update multiple instances. There might be an easier, faster way, and that would just be great for us to learn as well. So thank you for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. Please like, subscribe, pass the word around, and we're gonna be doing videos like this in the future, and um, just look forward to doing this with you guys. Take care, and I got one question for you. What is your state of charge? I hope it's well. Take care.